Hey guys, welcome back. So today is one of my little filler videos just because I've been posting so much content lately and I kind of want to take a break and just focus more on my family and just my job and just other things. Obviously, I'm going to keep uploading videos every week, but like I said, this filler video is going to take place of a more significant video, I guess you could say. Um, also partially because I'm having a little bit of vlog block and I just couldn't really think of anything that's super good to post. So I apologize for that. Um, my pizza's done. Okay, sorry, my pizza was done. Um, so I'm just gonna give you guys, I guess you could say kind of a life update. Um, nothing really new or big has happened, but there are some big things in the works, so we'll just We'll just chat while I'm leaned up against my microwave cart um, First things first Many of you know we are still in the house that we rented um, When I found out I was pregnant with the babies and like right after I had them we moved in well, we renewed our lease again, and a lot of you know that because you've seen us vlogging in the same house, and we were supposed to be out September 19th, and we're still here, so we renewed our lease. Um, but I'm really excited because we have found a house. I don't know if it's gonna work out, but it's beautiful. We've seen the inside of it, we've seen the outside of it. It's in a very decent neighborhood. Honestly, for our growing family, it is perfect. And just for privacy concerns, I'm not going to like say specifically like what area it's in or what neighborhood it's in or a street or anything like that. But I'm just gonna let you guys know it's in a beautiful neighborhood, a safe neighborhood. And it's a, it's a big, beautiful four bedroom house, which is so much better than the tiny three bedroom house that we're in now. You know, we definitely need to upsize um, with our growing family and just to have more space. I mean, even if we didn't have more kids, we're, we're cramped in this space. Um, now that the boys are like fully walking and they're more mobile, I just find myself like feeling claustrophobic and like smushed and we're all just running around in this tiny little house together, you know? That's honestly how I feel. So, that's definitely one thing in the works, so we're really excited about that. Um, the other thing I talked about in um, our story video, kind of like how me and my husband came to be, I pretty much already talked about this thing, but the other thing is that we are having our big wedding and reception. Um, we have actually, we haven't changed anything with it, but we've actually come to the decision on like when we want to have it. So we have decided to have it in 2021 um, and in 2021 our second year anniversary actually falls on a Monday I think. So we're going to have the vow renewal and reception on the 14th which is just two days before and that falls on a Saturday. That way we can have our family and our friends there because I don't really know anybody that has a wedding on a Monday. Um, Weekends just work better because most people are off work and it just, it's just better with everyone's schedule. So we have come to the conclusion that we're not going to do it next year since we're really trying to get this house, but we are actually going to have it the following year, which gives me plenty of time to either pick out a different dress that's more, you know, vow renewal type dress, or it gives me time to get my dress like altered or you know, whatever needs to be done to it because I have, my weight's been fluctuating like crazy and I honestly haven't even tried the dress on in like a year and a half. So yeah, I have we have plenty of time to figure it out, plenty of time to save up for it. Um, but now that we've kind of decided that, you know, this is what we're gonna do, this is when we're gonna do it, we're getting excited for it. Um, even though we're already married, we're getting really excited for it. Um, the other thing that I kind of said something about but didn't like say a lot about so we definitely do want another baby um, I know probably none of you know but when I was pregnant with the twins I had the option to get my tubes tied 
and I actually signed the papers, you guys. I signed the papers, and then a couple weeks later, I backed out of it. I signed them, and I said, you know what? I, I'm going to, you know, change my mind about this. And the um, nurse practitioner that I was seeing, my high-risk um, nurse practitioner, she was like, are you sure you want to do that? She's like, it's your choice. You know, that's between you and your partner, but just make sure that you want to do this because if I take the paper back, you know, that's it. Like, you've already signed it, so if you give it back to me, like, you can't re-sign it. And I said yes. So I in doing that it's kind of like saying like oh well I'm gonna have more kids like instantly everyone's like oh so you want more kids then and at the time I'm like oh not necessarily I just didn't want to do it I don't know um a part of me regretted it I'm like oh I don't really need any more kids and especially with me um having such a high chance of having another set of twins i was like there's no way i'm done but at the time i wasn't sure if me and my then boyfriend were going to stay together i wasn't sure if we were going to continue to live together after our lease was up in this house that first year um there was a lot of emotions going on and now you know that we got engaged we got married and we are in the same house and we're going on our second year of living here i'm starting to i i'm feeling more like okay you know this is someone i'm gonna spend the rest of my life with so if we want more kids you know it's okay like we'll see if we can afford it and if we can't then down the road i will get the tubal legation but that's definitely like i i think we are gonna try for another one I've always wanted a girl. He's always wanted a girl. We have three boys, so just put it out there, you guys. Um, obviously, not anytime soon. Um, our vow renewal is in two years, so I'm thinking after we do that and we have that big celebration, that's like it for like our big celebrations, and we'll probably try for a baby after that. And especially if we get this house, you know, we'll already be in a bigger house we'll have another room for a baby so I don't know guys we'll see um it's exciting just talking about it though just because yeah being pregnant with twins was rough having a c-section was a whole different thing because I hadn't had one the first time around it was all different you know I didn't have an epidural with Nathan and I had an epidural with him it was all very different but I definitely get excited when I think about having another baby, especially a girl. I don't know. But we do run that chance of having twins again. And I, I said that to him. I'm like, you know, we would really have to, like, be sure we wanted to have more. Because if we try for another, we might end up with two more. Who knows? So that's another big thing that we've kind of been talking about um but yeah there's just i don't know guys there's like so many things that there there's so many like exciting things to talk about and plan for obviously nothing is like happening right now but i just wanted to update update you guys on what our plans are like going forward how we want to do things how we want to grow our family you know just all of the big exciting things that we want to accomplish I wanted to share with you guys hopefully the next time I do one of these like life updates I have actual like updates to give you guys but again this is just a filler because I didn't have any content to really post this week I am sorry about that um hopefully next week I have some good content rolling out but I will see you guys next time